Why do people join cults? I asked myself this question for many years after I stopped believing in God. Why do intelligent people fall prey to cults? You would think that doctors and professors would be able to spot cults from a mile away, yet you can find many intellectuals in cults. And if intellectual people fall prey to cults, then those who are lowly educated have no hope. I would like to talk about another reason why people fall prey to cults. I already covered some reasons in my previous blog post. This one is about the Milgram experiment. This experiment was conducted in Yale University. The researcher invited two participants to take part. One would be the teacher and the other would be the learner. The teacher would test the learner and if the learner gave the wrong answer, the teacher would give him an, an electric shock that increased in strength as the experiment progressed. About three quarters into the experiment, the voltage was increased to over 300 volts, enough to kill a man. The teacher and the learner cannot see each other, but they can hear each other. When the teacher gave the electric shock, he can hear the learner crying in pain and begging him to stop. Now, if the teacher wanted to stop the experiment, he could. But then he'll be told one of these four things. Please continue or please go on. The experiment requires you to continue. It is absolutely essential that you continue. Or the last one, you have no choice. You must go on. How would you feel if you were one of the participants what would you do if you were the teacher? Would you press the button to send over 300 volts to shock the other person? Would you be surprised if I told you that every one of the teachers in the Milgram experiment pressed the button that sent 300 or more volts to the learner? Yes, they did. Here's the reason. People are conditioned to listen to authority. People will obey authority and feel helpless to fight it because we are born this way. Yes, you and I are born to obey authority. Have you noticed that in every cult, there is a charismatic leader? The more charismatic this leader is, the more difficult it is to disobey him. We are all naturally drawn to such people, charismatic, good-looking, or has a special ability. Think about it. When was the last time you saw people idolizing ugly, non-charismatic people with no ability whatsoever? Never, right? We only look up to good-looking and charismatic people. We all want to follow such people. We idolize them. And we do this naturally. As such, we also naturally want to impress them and make them notice us. One way is to obey and follow their instructions. When children obey their parents, what are they told? Good girl, good boy. Given our natural tendencies, tendencies to obey authority, such leaders exploit it to their advantage. I used to attend a church called Tabernacle of Glory. The old pastor was involved in a sex scan scandal involving a minor. Today, he has renamed himself as Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan. Looking back, I have to admit this Peter Tan was a very charismatic man who knew how to exercise his authority over people. And sadly, all of us in the church idolized him to the point of obeying him blindly. Peter Tan used to telephone people in the middle of the night when they were sound asleep to admonish them or to make them do whatever he wanted. 
Now I realise what he was doing. He was using our sleepy states of mind to exert his authority. How can you resist when you're groggy from lack of sleep? If you have doubts about your organisation, whether religious or otherwise, stop and ask yourself, are people outside your church warning you about the organisation? Do you have doubts or questions about the church leaders? Can you resist if they went against your conscience? Are you able to step away from the church to think about it without being called back into the fold? Do you only feel safe inside the church and told that you have to be protected from the outside world that is evil? These are good questions to consider all the time. A good church or organisation allows people to grow slowly and be better people. It helps them be better people inside and outside the church. It does not seek to control its members. It does not take advantage of them like expecting them to devote time or money to their programs. A good church does not exert authority over its members. If your church does this, you are in a cult.